we just decided last night that we wanted to go to Cinque Terre. So we're at the La Spezia train station and we're on our way to Cinque Terre. We're on the train to Cinque Terre. It's so pretty. You guys want to go swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. It's in Cinque Terre. We're in Monte Rosso. This is the Mediterranean right here. We just got confirmed from Airbnb that we got a room. Same day notice. We're pretty happy because we're tired of carrying all of this backpacks. And... We're going to our hotel. We just got our Varnazzo Cinque Terre room. It was a same day reservation. So we're super lucky to get this place. So here's our kitchen. We got our dining room area. Living room. <laughs> Both with amazing views here. So we got one bedroom here, pretty big size bed, and another room. Again, amazing. Oh, not to mention every single room has air conditioner, which is great. Do you guys like our room? I know, it's awesome. Butter and Parmesan there. Butter Parmesan pasta for the kids. You might be onto something here. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I'm happy. Thank you. Okay. I'm a chef. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that looks amazing. Great, right thank you. the way back to our room. It's going up, it should go down. Wow, it's like a dark cave. Whoa. It got really dark. Hmm. This way. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Take a video of this. Organic Pocky Bernaza. Cinque Terre. <laughs> They got pokey everywhere. Oh look, the duck. I've never done this before. A Cinque Terre. Yeah, we haven't never gone, gone through the back roads. Wow, it's up there. I don't think we need to go up there. Wow, it looks really pretty though. Keep on going, buddy. There's people behind us. to Rosso and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping and hopefully find something to eat. Cool little pirate church. This is a church, Oratorio del Neri in Monte Rosso Amare. And it is the only church I've ever seen that has skeletons, pirates, crossbones. Very interesting. Okay, so we are in Monte Rosso, just hanging out and had dinner. Look at this view. I'll be 
to and smile. Three, two, and smile. I have the phone. I have the phone. The phone. I mean, got it. No, I want to hold it. Brody wants to take a video. Tell me something. I have to tell you something. What? Tell me. We in the day. Do, show the cat. Show the cat. See the cat. <laughs> Look, see, it's the Lemonni Bernaza. Another cat of Bernaza. Hi, kitty. Bye bye. On our way to catch our train, we're gonna go to La Spezia and then go to Luca right after that. Bye. Brody. Brody has the funny morning sleepy hair. <laughs> Daddy and Brody are matching. Look at your guys' shirts. We're the mat boys, not the outdoor boys. <laughs> Back in the Spezia, on our way to Luca. Excited for some yummy, yummy pizza. Here's our car. We just arrived to Luca on our way to our favorite pizza spot and we're trying to get a room so hopefully we can stay the night. We are at Pizza da Feliz. They have the best pizza in Luca here. Last time we took Amelin here when she was only Giselle's age. found a place to stay at. We're right next to the Duomo di San Martino. Okay, so this is an entryway to our Airbnb. This one's in Luca. It's a highly rated one. Here's the entryway, dining room table. Beautiful little Amal in there on her favorite thing, her iPad. Amazing chandelier. Great, rustic, authentic decorations, a cool door that I have no idea what that leads to. And here is a tiny little kitchen, stove, microwave oven, everything you would need. Look at this sink. You have to walk up a lot of stairs to get to the different rooms here. It's three bedrooms, one on each floor. So this is the first bedroom here. And there's the bathroom. Another ancient sink. And look at these stairs. They're made out of concrete. And they're floating. So here we are, some old stone sink. Walk down shower. Very ancient looking. Okay, so this is the second bedroom here. So many nice details. And like the other one, the bathroom's right across. This is the only bedroom with a TV. This is where we all hang out. Kids are sleeping. And the bathroom is on a different flight of stairs. This one is so cool.
Okay, so that's all the different rooms. Three bedrooms, one on each floor. Dining room at the bottom. Lots of stairs to go up and down. Not much of a living space. It feels really amazing and interesting to be staying in a place quite like this. Never in a hundred years would I think would be staying in a place connected to a basilica or a duomo. So that's really neat. And we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out later today if they're still open and if not tomorrow. Ooh, there's a tiger too and a giraffe. Something falls out. Ooh, you got it. Ooh. Let's go check it out, guys. Here. Is that the present you made for me? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about it? What did you draw? Oh, well, it's beautiful. Can you feel what? Oh look, there's a skeleton on the front. Uh-huh. I love it. Oh, kind of mystery a little bit, huh? It's me again, and I'm just going to do a short little haul of what we bought in Cinque Terre and Luca. It was a super spontaneous trip. We had no idea that we're going to spend even one night uh, anywhere. We thought it was going to be just a day trip back there and going there and coming back. But we spent two nights, one night each, one in Cinque Terre and the other night in Luca. And here's what we bought. This is my favorite. Of course, we got the Bialetti coffee makers. We got different types of honey here.
We got our magnet collection and the item that I'm most excited about is this. Achuga, one of my most favorite Adam Seed anchovies basically, but it's also famous in Monte Rosso. Oh yeah, and I also bought this dress from Luca. and nothing else to wear, so I had to buy it for my Luca day. We had so much fun in Cinque Terre and Luca. It was super exciting, spontaneous. We didn't know what to expect. Uh, we didn't even know we we're gonna stay an extra night in Luca, but that's the best thing about it. A lot of the times it's not the things, but the memories made. Uh -huh. Hey, did you have fun today?